so we're in Morro Bay, and this is the aquarium I remember going to forever ago, and so apparently you guys are closing. Yeah, so um, they wanted us to build a new building, and um, we just don't have the money for that. So This is the city of Morro Bay. This is the city of yeah. Morro Bay. They wanted a new building, which is completely understandable. We've been here for, um, what are 57 years. Uh, so we understand it does need upgrades. That's not something... We're not naive to, which a lot of people assume we are. Um, we're not. My grandpa built it, and he bought it from the original owner three years later in 1963. So it's been in my family for about 54 years. Next year will be 55. Um, you know, so that all happened, and they want a new aquarium, which is understandable. Um, but for us to do what so, they so, want... So they want you guys to tear down this building and put in a much more... Uh, uh, a more Fancy, high-end type kind of, of thing, aquarium. Which is, you know, it's understandable, but we just don't have the money. So before all of this, um, back, back when my grandpa had gotten it, and up until the late 1990s were a rehab center. So they did a lot of rehab work, which is really great, and they saved a lot of sea lions, harbor seals, and otters. Um, that was the main focus for my grandparents. Well, because they were in their 70s at the time, in the late 1990s, um, a lot of people had stopped offering to help. Um, mm. So it's a lot to do when sure. you're two, seven, you know, sure. high 70 year olds. You know, it's just, it's not, to them, it wasn't really worth it anymore. It was just, it was too high maintenance for them. So we stopped doing it. Um, so before there was no charge, but then our expenses kind of kept on getting higher and higher. Um, so they paid out of pocket. Um, you know, so if you for all the rehab and the, the rescue for the rehab, everything. so it, everything came out of their own pocket. Mm -hmm. You know, and they had other jobs which supplied the money to do it, but eventually it just got too much. Right. Um. So they asked for you know a small payment to go in just to kind of make our bills and to sure. kind of break even. You know. Right. And um, you know, so we asked for very little money, and that was actually how we paid our bills for a very long time. Um, and that's still how we pay our bills, but it's also a very small aquarium, so we understand, you know, we don't want to cheat you guys of your money. It's not <laughs> a very big aquarium, but right. to be honest, my grandparents didn't even need your money. Um, they just needed help paying the bills. They have other investments, and those mm -hmm. investments weren't really cutting it at the time to help pay. Uh, so that's what they had done. And so then you're saying that the trigger is the lease renewal. The, yes, it was the lease renewal. So we are on um, all the water on the bay side, or all the property on the bay side is owned by the city, or no, by the state of California, but the city manages it. So we're on a 50-year lease. Um, so when that had came up, they're like, well, we want you to do this, and we want you to do that, and we told them we didn't have the money for it. Um, and my dad had submitted three different proposals, uh, different ways that we could improve the building and they each said no um so my grandpa or my dad had said he didn't want to be in debt until he was 95 <laughs> right, right to be just to be able to kind of break even finally and then we'd also had to raise our prices which is something we never wanted to do my grandpa had um his philosophy was that you didn't need to pay a lot of money to have fun with your family so mm -hmm. we're more of like we understand some families are you know have giant families and um you're on a budget so we try right. to keep things in an appropriate price range so that everyone can get something at least one thing you know and just have a great time totally totally so so you guys so we're recording this in november 2017 you guys say you're going to close within the year in september we are closing september 30th of 2018 and then the sales will be gone after easter break so if anyone wants to come at least one more time do it before then <laughs> before easter can come multiple times that's great too <laughs> but we just want you to guys to continuously to have a couple more memories before we have to actually this officially close so what was it like to be the fa a family run business and sort of this interpretation kind of um, it's been great so that is my grandma over there she hello is, dear she is 93 <laughs> uh, she also actually wrote a book to kind of keep a legacy going um, for when we're officially closed so she finished it Written and finished at 92, published at 92, and then she turned 93 about a month later. Cool. So it talks about the rehab part of the aquarium for when we used to have it. So a lot of it was done behind closed doors for the safety of people, for the safety of the animals, because mm -hmm. some of them were really badly injured. And, you know, we just sure. couldn't have the public around. Right, 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 um, right. So she wrote a book about that so that everyone could see all the work that they've done over the years that had, hadn't been recognized or have never known about it. Um, 
Cool. So we, we did a lot of cool things. My favorite part about my grandparents actually talking about it were the otters. Um, so they, otters are newborns, uh, basically, and to equivalent to an adult, uh, to a human, they're basically like newborn babies, so they needed to be fed every a couple of hours. So um, my grandma and my grandpa would actually take them home because he had to care for them all the time and then bring them back here when they were here at work. Um, so they had a, they did a lot of stuff with that. They taught them how to actually use the restroom, um, like how we body <laughs> train children to use the restroom. My grandma actually taught them to do that, and they liked popcorn. So whenever my grandma had popcorn, she had to share it with the otters. Nice. Cool. And so how many animals have you guys have been through the doors over the Oh, that's a really good question. I have no idea. Um, since I've been here... Um, I've been inside of these walls since I want to say like six or seven actually living not living inside of these walls But All after school I would come right. you know and school breaks. So um, Since I've been here we've had two pups born Two um, harbor seals. No two sea lions. Two sea lions. Okay. Uh, we've never had a female male harbor seal um, to actually produce a baby pup um, but we've had male female har uh, sea lions Okay. So I've had, I've seen two of them born. Um, we had Kenny. Kenny was here when I started coming around. He, that was one. Then we had, I forgot, he passed away about a year or so after I had started coming here all the time. Um, and then there was Thunder. Thunder passed away when I was in sixth grade. And the only reason I remember that is because we had gotten the news and my dad was taking me to school. And I was so distraught. I didn't mm. want to go to school because it just, it hurt so bad. Mm -hmm. And so we had, in my class, we always had to write in our journals. Um, sometimes it'd be, she'd give us a topic. Other days mm -hmm. it's just, you know, write whatever you, you know, you right, feel like right, writing, right, right. whatever you're thinking of. And so I wrote it down um, that she had passed away and I was so sad. And then we had to turn it into our teacher so that she, not necessarily grade it, but just look at it and see if we did the right thing so we had to write down the question or whatever and then you know make a page of it so she had wrote that she was so sorry for our loss um we still have maggie she's 33 years old now wow um, so typically seals, 33 yeah so typically seals live about to 20 25 years in a pitch perfect world um so she's beyond her years um she's awesome to have still we're very blessed to have her with each day that we do um, she is getting older, um, so she does have a cataract in one eye, we, we know, and then, um, you know, she's sleeping more, and we don't really expect a lot out of her due to her age. We're kind of just letting her kind of, you know, be a princess or right, be queen right, right. and kind of just live out her glory days and however she wants to do it. So, we have that one. We have Hera. Hera is about 12 now, and then uh, she's the other sea lion, and then we have Smokey. Um, and he is 10 years old and he is our harbor seal. Cool. Um, we used to have another harbor seal. Um, oh, I forgot his name. And then we had another sea lion named Ramses. Now Ramses had gotten really sick and so um, we didn't catch it in time. Um, so he, had a, he passed away due to a, an illness and same thing with our other harbor seal. Uh, so we pump water straight out of the bay, so whatever's in the bay gets into our um, into our tanks. Even though we have filters to kind of filter everything out, you can't filter everything out, all the smallest particles, right. the stuff that go in. Um, so that really affects us a lot. So like this past, um, at the beginning of the year, there was all the heavy rainfalls. Um, so everything that washed off of the um, hills right. and everything right, went into right, the right, bay, right, right. and the bay gets really dirty. Um, so we had to clean our filters three to four times a day just to be able to be okay. Cool. Um, to make sure nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. got sick or anything. <laughs> so, and so, um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you guys. <laughs> so she, yes, you can. I love you. I'll see you later, okay? okay. Thank you for doing this great aquarium for all those all these years. Thank oh, you. You're very welcome. sweet. Kind of sad, but that's the way it is. Uh, our mayor, our mayor doesn't like us, so it's okay. <laughs> you know, so. Okay. So so what, so what's your what's your happiest memory of all the year or one of your happiest memories for one here? of my happiest memories was when I was having fun with my husband because he thought 
the sea lion was a male, and I kept telling him I think it's a female. <laughs> and then she had a little a pup. pup, and I was really happy with that. <laughs> yeah, so, Excellent. Uh, yeah, so my grandpa bought what he thought, or what the people had told him was a male uh, sea lion. So, you know, he bought it to start, like, the aquarium. So these ones were born in captivity. And buy a, excuse me, but buy a book. And then yeah, it's a really great book. I will, no, I will. Um, so he thought for the longest time it was a male, so his name was his. I gotta go for my wedding for my. Uh, thank you. His name was Sam, so they had named him Sam. Well, um, then he, then they had gotten a female, a quote unquote, a female. So, um, and then uh, Sam, the boy, ended up getting pregnant, and my grandma had noticed. Well, my grandpa was like, no, 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 it's a male. It, it just has gas, cause you know, and everything All like right. that. And then it ended up having a pup. But the other way my grandma had realized is how they, they pee from different areas. Right, right, um, right. So she had noticed that. And she's like, no, 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 it's a female, it's a female. <laughs> my grandpa insisted until she had given birth that it was a male. Um, so that was really one of the great stories that awesome. they ended up telling me. And, it, and so they named the seal Sammy Jr. Um, it was Sammy and, oh, I know it's in, I know it's in my grandma's book. It tells you. But really, cool. my grandpa kept on insisting because that's what they told him. So he's like, right. they told me this. It has to be this. And it ended up being the other way around because males, I think you can only buy them. They were, if you wanted to buy them for your aquarium, um, it would be $100. But females were 200 <laughs> So he didn't have a lot of money. And they didn't. They were at their cap, and he was like, "Well, I have this tiny aquarium that I can have, that I have that we, you know, we can have them in." Um, so he bought the cheapest one because he didn't have a lot of money back then, and it ended up being a girl, and they had a pup. So we've had multiple pups being born here, and um, we have transferred them to different zoos or aquariums. So a couple of them had gone to Niagara Falls, hmm. Miami, and a couple of other places. So. We would re rehabilitate animals, and then if my grandparents had decided that it wasn't to put them back in the, out in the wild was a danger to them, rather than them living here, they would find other places for them that will, right. that are willing to take them in. Then right. there are those that my grandma had decided they could go back out in the wild because their injuries weren't that bad compared to others. So they would retrain them to eat live fish, right. and they needed to realize if I wanted to survive, I have to eat this live fish. Right. Um, so they would retrain them and then take them back out into the wild. And then we've had, I think it's two seals that actually came back on their own. Um, hmm. So is it two or one? I know for sure one of them, and her name was Susie, so they took her out to the wild once they were done rehabilitating her mm -hmm. and deemed her okay to go back out. So they, oh, I don't know, they had, they drove up to San Simeon or something like that and had dropped her off. And so they're on their way back. Um, they came back and then a day later she ended up coming back. Um, so, Free food. <laughs> yeah, she loved it here. You know, it is their own choice. If they want to come back, that's okay. Right. If they don't, that's fine too. Right. You know, hard, no hard feelings there. It's just... Whatever they thought was home, we were okay with. Right. Um, so she ended up being right here in the parking lot, and then she ended up across the street, and the Harbor Patrol actually came and were trying to catch her. And Is this yours? <laughs> they, they, they didn't know what to do, so like my dad and my grandma and my grandpa were here, and they were just watching from the door, like watching them trying to catch a seal. And they didn't even ask us for help, so we just watched them try you know, look to see what they're doing, and then they finally asked us. And then we had released her again, and she ended up coming back before my grandpa actually came back. So wow. they drove her further, and she ended up arriving way before they did because she knew this was home. So over the years, how many, how many, or like let's say a typical year, like last year, how many visitors do you guys have a year, roughly? Uh, that's a really good question. My grandma has estimated a, a couple of thousand. Normally, um, since it is our winter season our winter season is right after summer and all the way till before summer right. because it's not as busy right. um we don't get a lot of people but um if it's summer we typically get maybe about a thousand people per day mm -hmm. not going in maybe going inside of the aquarium but just kind of coming in through mm -hmm. the door um so we do get a lot of people during the summer and are the people that would go to the aquarium it was mostly families with young kids um, or or um, or generations. So um, 
we'll have people say, I've been taking my kids here and now they're taking their kids here because mm -hmm. we've been here for so long and absolutely mm -hmm. love it. So there are quite a bit of people. It's more like half and half. Okay. So you get um, the people who've been coming here for years and continuously come and then you have the people who've been coming here since they were kids and we're now bringing their kids because it's always been a family tradition. Right. So it's a little bit of everything. It's people who've never been here before and they're like, well, let's check it out. And so they'll go in and there's those who've been here for years ever since we started and they'll come with their kids and it'll just kind of be a continuous thing. I think my grandma said one year we've had four generations here at one time because wow. it's just been passed down for so long Very that cool. this is something that they know more of to be. Cool. Well, it'll be sad to see you guys go, but at least uh, you're not you're not dying out. At least you're you're going out on your on your own terms. So that's that that's a small consolation, but at least it's something. Yeah, at least it's something. Um, you know, we've loved being here. We've loved serving the community. We've loved serving the families here. I mean, we've really had a blast over the years of what we've been doing, and it's always been. A blessing to be here especially for my grandparents they absolutely love doing this and I know they still had help when they had to stop then we probably would be continuously doing the rehab work um, but like I said my grandma's 93 and my grandpa's yeah, been gone sure. for almost two years now so it was a lot of work and when there's so much work that you need help and there's no one to help you of course you kind of need a you can only do it for so many decades <laughs> yeah so they did it for I'm gonna say about 30 years they've done a lot of rehab work and they've released a lot of animals and we've had to place a lot of animals and we've had babies and it was always a joy to see the babies and I mean it, it's really been it's been nice it's been fun to cool. be here well, so anybody, that, any of my students, they, they can all come up between now and Easter if they want to see the critters, or now in September uh, for the for the, the gift shop part. Cool. Yeah. So I mean, we have until about the middle of April if you guys want to come down. If you guys can't make it, I mean, it's understandable. We know what it's like to not, you know, missing stuff. I mean, right. we've had a literally we haven't. My dad hasn't had a break in like three or four years now when my <laughs> right. grandpa's gotten right. sick, you right. know, and right. it's just, right. you have to take care of the animals every day. There's no break, right? you know, so right. even when we're not, even when we're closed, like if we're closed on a holiday or whatever, or if we decide to close early, we can't close earlier than a certain point. Um, it's just, it, you constantly have to be here. Cool. Oh man. And they're, and they're hungry, it sounds like. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so no one's been in there yet, um, <laughs> but that's okay. And that is my grandma's book. It's called Life is Short with Human Parents. And they're also signed. Every single copy my grandma has gotten, they're signed by her. It's mostly pictures. They're all pictures from my grandma's personal photo collection that no cool. one outside of family friends or really close family friends or family have seen up until the book was published. Epic.